Well, hello there, my horror peeps. This is uh, AJ Horror here giving you a new movie review. And uh, this one is called Barbarian from 2022. Um, got a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. The fans gave it a 71%. So pretty freaking good for a horror movie, right? Um, this one is on Hulu and HBO Max. So if you have one of those, I, I recommend you watch this uh, as soon as you possibly can. Um, this one's an hour 48, so a little longer, but I mean, I think it's necessary. Um, it's also rated R, so that's always good in my book, at least. Um, all right, let me just jump into it. Writer, director, Zach Kregers, who usually um, is a actor. So it looks like this is his first or one of his first uh, horror uh, movies that he wrote and directed. So uh, a pretty big deal for him. Um, and I think he's uh, he's on a good uh, on good track for making some horror movies in the future, hopefully. Um, let's look at what we got here with the uh, cast. Uh, we got Georgina Campbell, who is phenomenal in this. She's basically, uh, she's the main character. Um, I'd say, um, she was in an episode of Black Mirror, um, uh, so that's the only horror that I could find from her. Um, then you got Bill Skarsgård, probably my favorite actor of all time. Um, he is, uh, in It Chapter 1 and 2, um, he's Pennywise, um, if you didn't know, and he was also in a movie... Villains, which is kind of a thriller comedy, which is another, it's a fun one. And then he was in the show um, Hemlock Grove, which uh, I really enjoyed. I thought it was, it was fantastic. Um, then we got Justin Long. I mean, most people know him, so I don't need to go too into it. He was, he, horror films are Tusk, Drag Me to Hell. Uh, what else has he been in? Um, Jeepers Creepers was probably his horror debut um film um and then we got richard brake um who's a huge name in the uh, horror scene um mostly from uh, rob zombie films he was in um three from hell uh what else oh 31 bingo hell um so he just plays a creepy ass dude in every single um film uh horror film he's in it seems like um but uh, that's that's all I got for the cast and the directors. I'm just going to kind of try to uh, not spoil this. Um, let's see here. So basically the premise of this um, is located in Detroit. Um, kind of in like the like poorer regions where people have kind of abandoned. Um, and this woman, Georgina Campbell, is the, the main character um parks at the house that she's doing an airbnb at and she can't get in um and then after a while uh somebody turns a light on she's like what what's going on uh, this is my airbnb why is someone there um opens a door and it's bill Skarsgård, and he's like what what do you want and she's like uh well i booked this place for uh airbnb and so they're both kind of baffled and like, what? yeah, this is bizarre. Um, they don't really know what to do. So she ends up coming in and kind of, um, they chat it up. And you don't really know if he's a stand-up guy or not. I don't want to give anything away. And I won't. Um, but they kind of, you know, they kind of are okay with each other. And then they go to bed and then... They wake up, and uh, Scars Bill Skarsgård is gone. He's doing whatever. Um, and Georgina Campbell, the main character, is uh, just getting around. She goes to her interview, which is why she uh, rented the Airbnb. She didn't realize how um, rough of a neighborhood it was. Um, but anyway, she gets back from the interview. She comes back to the house. She's paying pee or whatever, and realizes they're out of toilet paper she looks for toilet paper and this is where the 
I think the, the horror-ish elements start. She goes to the basement. That's a pretty, I mean, basements are pretty creepy in themselves, right? She goes down there, she gets locked down there, um, and she discovers a secret passageway. And she kind of goes through this dark, like, tunnel-like thing, finds a room that has weird shit in it, and she decides, oh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, and then she can't get, she can't get uh, back upstairs because the door is locked. And eventually, uh, Bill Skarsgård comes back from whatever he was doing, and uh, she she's knocking on the window because she sees him outside, and he's like, what the hell are you doing? She's like, I'm, I'm trapped down here, and they get the window open, and she's about to take off, and he's like, no, no, it's fine. Let me just go check it out after a while of, like, convincing her. And she's like, fine, I'm not going down there, though. He ends up going down there, um, and something, something creepy happens. She ends up going down there, and then, um, I don't want to give too many details. Let's just say something happens down, um, in the tunnel, tunnel area that is really weird and it goes on and on and this this is where it kind of seems like boom it just switches to another story which is intriguing i i, I kind of liked it uh, it's a little different kind of take on um on uh film work i guess um so it goes to justin long driving <laughs> um singing a song that I, I had no idea what it was and he gets a call from from the writers of a show he's supposed to be on, they said he's uh, um, a, w a woman that was um, on in the cast with him, I think, said he raped her. Um, and so that kind of gives you the idea that he's he's kind of an asshole, uh, POS. Um, so he goes to his financial advisor or whatever, and they're like, yeah, you're in pretty big trouble. You should probably uh sell your some of your assets your house and you have a couple couple of places in michigan uh which is where uh bill Skarsgård and uh, georgina campbell uh so happened to have that airbnb and he ends up flying there um realizes that there were people there their luggage still there toothbrush all that and he's like what the fuck um so after walking around for a bit, he goes down into the basement because there's like a light on or something. And then he goes down, um, finds the little door that opens with a rope, which is kind of weird. Um, goes in the tunnel and something happens. Something weird. I'm not going to give anything away. I'm trying not to. Um, but anyways, uh, he gets kind of tra 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 trapped down there or, or taken hostage. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. And then it, the story kind of develops. Uh, there is a, I don't want to say monster, but kind of. Um, we don't know if that's Skarsgård or if it's someone else. So I'm not going to give that away. Um, and uh, it's just basically survival horror from here on out. They uh, try to try to get away. And when you think that they finally evaded whatever circumstances happening it comes back to him and I, it ah, there's some like it's weird i i don't it's hard to describe because i don't want to give any of the plot away um i would say if you're gonna watch this don't watch the trailers um because i tried not to watch the trailers just because sometimes they they do really give away um stuff um when when you're watching it, you're like oh i know what's happening now um, so I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, um, watch the trailers for this one. Um, but uh, that's about all I can say about it without giving anything away. Um, I really, really like this movie. It's kind of bizarre, which is probably why I liked it. It's, it's totally different from probably any horror movie I've really, I've seen really. And it's got Bill Skarsgård. I love that dude. Georgian Campbell, again, is, is phenomenal in this, um, and Justin Long plays a good asshole in this. He's complete, seems like complete douchebag throughout, um, intentionally. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely 100% recommend this. Uh, I, this is a bold, this is a bold take. 
this is my favorite horror movie of 2022. So if you haven't seen it, I recommend you check it out. Um, if you like this review, if it uh, gave you some good good tips, pointers, whatever, uh, please subscribe, uh, likes, comments, whatever are awesome. And uh, that's that's all I've got for this one. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, evening, or morning. See you later.